What's up everybody, I'm the Doctor here, and today we're going to be learning how to do these panel thing, like buttons, um, panel art, whatever you want to call them. I call them like buttons because they kind of look like they're kind of rounded on the corners, and they're like, they kind of look like buttons, and a lot of times they are buttons, like rules, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Um, but so, let's just get into it, because I know you don't want to hear any blah 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 intro, so we go into GIMP. Obviously, you have that open. File, new. Now, this is just personal preference, whatever you want the width and height to be, because you're going to be cutting it down, so it just depends on how much space you want to be working with. I personally just use the regular space. I go OK. And then we go to the text tool, and we just click, and we set the whatever font we want. So I do free, freedom. It's a font that I downloaded off the internet so you will not be able to find that if you have not downloaded the font I will send us uh, put a link in the description to the font if you want it um, and then do the size um, I roughly just do like a random size it's gonna it's gonna be big and then let's just do red you can do whatever color you want for your letters and then you just start tarp typing so Let's do stuff. Um, so then you click off that, and see that's a, that's about a good size. So you can't really see it, the lines, like the outline of the where you're working. But you move this to the middle, around roughly. And then what you do is you right click on the layer over here of the text, and do alpha to selection, which is basically instead of selecting a square or something it selects exactly around your um the letters themselves and then you create a new layer same size and in this new layer you fill in this with black now that didn't fill in the original thing with red it just has another layer that has the same shape but it's black so now we don't need to be selecting that anymore and we go to here and I usually move it down a little bit like down and then right so like about I'm a little bit of perfectionist sorry about there that's good enough and then you you drag um oh I put J tough <laughs> instead of stuff it looks like stuff oh well um drag this up above layer and then look now it looks like you have a shadow behind your letters so that looks cool um next thing you want to do is you're going to add another layer and in this layer we're going to be doing the shading so we want to click gradient and we want to click the FG to transparent um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to instead of just dragging because see how you can't get it like perfect you hold control and it'll left control of course and it'll do it perfectly straight and it'll like of course if you're a little off um, it'll do straight but it can go other ways but I do it that way and then get it to like the bottom of the letters and then let go and there it is but see how it's a little dark over the letters I mean this is all personal preference of course but I like it a little sh a little not as dark so I have a I usually do 70 or 70.5 70 not 770 well, anyways, I'll just do a, a roughly around 75. But what, send, if you're doing a ton of panels for your page, you want to remember what number you did and have it exactly the same so that they all look the same. So keep that number in mind. So, yeah, we have that now. And so now what we're going to do is flatten the image, which basically compresses all of the layers into just one solid image. So now we're going to cut it out. So we select the square rectangle tool, and then we do rounded corners. And the radius, uh, you want it kind of big or else you won't notice it. So I do it like around 35, and then do it around the, as it's just how big you want the button, basically. And so I do it like kind of close to it with a little room around. But once you got it, you then go command X or control not command this isn't Mac <laughs> control X to cut it 
and then what you do is the background you make it you click the eye which makes it so you can't see the background also you do not need to be selecting that area anymore so you create a new oh cancel you create a new layer and then you go control V and you paste it and then there you go you have your picture J tough <laughs> um, so we're what we want to do is we want to save as save as J tough and then let's do it to desktop and save and see before I save it you want to keep it on XCT or XCF because that format of file is what GIMP recognizes so you can actually come back and edit it so I always save them in case I want to go back and edit them for some reason so save it first and then you're gonna make another file which is you export it and you don't have to go as again because it'll just remember what you named your XCF file and this time it'll be PNG now you want to keep the PNG because if you don't it'll make the background white around it and you don't want that you want it to be transparent so PNG will make it transparent so let's do that desktop export I don't mess with anything here if you know exactly what these do then you can mess with it but I would not recommend it it's usually default for a reason um, so export and then so now they are on my desktop JTUF there it is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and say we want to put it on a panel so we go add panel and add image jtuff.png so what you want to do is get this exactly lined up with it don't worry about the corners not being rounded because it'll be transparent behind it you won't notice it but you get it about like that and then you press done and then it'll load and go submit and stop editing panels and there you go you have a panel simple as that thanks everyone um, for watching uh, make sure if you did like the video to leave a like and stay tuned for more videos I will be putting out more videos and don't be afraid to comment on stuff you want me to um, do tutorials about or do gameplay of or whatever suits your fancy um, and yeah, thank you. Make sure to subscribe and also go to my YouTube ch page. I will, or not YouTube, Twitch page. I will put a link in the description and follow me and watch me. I stream at least once every day, mostly, unless something comes up, of course. And so, yeah, thank you guys. See you next time.